Follow the green light. RJ. Howdy, 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 everybody. I know it's been a while since our last video. Um, so, without further ado, let's let's jump in. Uh, which one's the one that I jump in on? Here we go. There we go. That's better. Uh, as you can see, I've been uh, streaming more regularly. And, um... Oh, that's quite loud on my end of things. Whoa, just dropping everything. I'll just turn my speakers down so you don't get too bad feedback. See, so, yeah, as you can see, this is my stream setup. I've been streaming on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Zorak the Troll. And um, I thought we'll throw, we'll throw a little video here. So, some of my stuff didn't sell. That's to be expected. A bunch of it did. Um, those wildflowers sold pretty well. Um, the, the food sold okay. Uh, not as good as I would have thought it would, but... Who knows, you know, you try these things. I've kind of given up on the fishing because it's taking a long time and my plan is, as you can see, oh, you can't see right now because I'm in rest mode, but I'm only level 9. So my plan is to level up a bit and then make another, the ne next set of videos, which will be about farming. But before I did that, I wanted to talk to you guys just quickly about um, the, the way that I approach the auction house. And I, I wanted to just emphasize some tips that I find to help things sell quite quickly. Um, you, may, you may go out there and watch a lot of videos and they, they tell you, you know, get Trade Skill Master because it makes the process of buying and selling things automated. And I completely agree that that is... Oh, helps if I type things correctly. That, that is very useful. So if you haven't got Trade Skill Master, definitely check it out. But the reason why I get it is because it gives me these little hover things. So like for instance, I've got this potion of health here. If I hover over it, it tells me what the minimum buyout and the, the market value and stuff is. Now I do have some operations. If I come into my profile here, you'll see that I have a bunch of stuff that I stole from other people, which, you know, as you do, that's how you get things set up. Um, if I go to the profile of the one that I've created for myself, I've actually got things set up uh, a bit more simply uh, than, than not, right? So I've got them set up as simple as possible. And actually, you know what, I'll, let's take a look at what my operation is. So for operation, I have like a cell basic and a greens operation the cell basic if you don't know what trade skill master is then don't stress too much basically all you need to know is that it does it automatically for you and you can put in the the values that you want so for instance you can put in the minimum value that uh you're going to post it up for yourself you can put in the maximum value and what it does is it looks at what the value on your server is and then estimates roughly uh, should I put this much up? Should I put it, you know, for, should I put it for more than what the person is? Should I put it up for a thousand gold when it's only worth two silver? Um, what should I do, right? And, and the computer makes those decisions and you help it along. So a lot of the guides tell you put in, for instance, uh, minimum price 65% of the market value, uh, you know, maximum price 200% of the market value. You can see here I've got 90% of the market value and I'll explain why. And then the price, if there's nothing up there, maybe, you know, 200%, whatever. And that's about maximizing profit. That's about trying to get it all in. However, because this is uh, automated, the, the program also uses the shopping tab. So you get these, when you get this out on, you get different, uh, different tabs. So what you'd normally see when you log in is these things, right? So you do your shopping through this tab, you do your selling through this tab, you'd monitor the bids that you currently have through this tab, right? So when you get Trade Skill Master, you get first off a database, which you can set up uh, it to scan the database and add to the database regularly, which is important. I have the desktop app, so I don't need to worry about that too much. Um, you then have, like, if you want to post the stuff that's in your bag that you already have, you can do that, and it uses those automated functions that we talked about before. Now, the other thing that they have is this sniping or shopping. It depends on which version you have. Uh, the newer versions don't call it sniping anymore. They call it shopping. And uh, basically, you just search for whatever it is that you want to search for, um, whether it's 
what you know crafting stuff you have or whether it's stuff that you, you have a, a list that you've saved uh, and you can import a favorite search things like that and it searches for or you can set up the groups that we talked about um, before like you know you're setting the different groups up you can set it to search the auction house for that and then it will give you a big list of anything that is less than what you already have so let's have a quick look it's going to search my bags for this one, so that's pointless because I've just emptied them all out onto the auction house. But what it would do is like it would search what's up there, and then it would tell you this person is selling for less than 65% of the market value. Uh, so you should buy this and then post it at 100%, and that way you make profit, right? So an, a normal person might say, okay, that's good, because that way I can scan the auction house find the cheap things, put them up for the correct price or the correct price and and make money that way. However, a savvy person goes, you know what? There are literally thousands of people out there watching these videos that tell them, just scan the auction house, make some money off cheap stuff. If you go on auction house uh, runners videos where they just they just run the auction house the whole time, if you go on their Twitch channels to make gold, uh, you know, that they show you that's how they make gold. Uh, Umran TV, excellent example. He's got some great tutorials about all that stuff. But the problem is that we can capitalize on that because there's millions of people out there who are just running Trade Skill Master, search down the list. This is, you know, buy the cheap stuff, sell it for the correct price. So if you are looking to make gold fast, you might have a bunch of stuff that you've farmed or even a bunch of stuff which, if we look at my auctions here, even a bunch of stuff that you've bought from uh, just the local vendors around Stormwind. So Silk and Thread, Rune Thread, uh, Strong Flux, Skinning Knife, the Blasting Powder again, Refreshing Spring Water. So the database, a red dye, the dyes are really good. If you can find the place that sells pink dye, that's really good. Turn around, Simple Wood. These sorts of things, you can find them everywhere very easily. And you just got to put them up there for a reasonable percentage less than... Oh, my screen's gone all dark. Uh, a reasonable percentage less than the percent that the people are going to be searching for. So, a lot of people have it set up at 65%. So, if you know, for instance, so I'll come up here. Let's have a look at red dye. Red dye is a great example. So, the database says that the market value for red dye, which you yourself can go and buy at a vendor, not more than three seconds away from this auction house that I'm standing in right now, for uh, the vendor buy price is 48 copper pieces. A red dye sell, that red dye that you just bought for 48 copper pieces sell, can sell market value on average across servers for 12 gold and 45 silver and 38 copper pieces, right? On average. That's what it sells for. On my particular server at this particular time, you can see it's got four gold is the minimum buyout. And the regional market value for all of whatever region you're in, I'm in North America for this particular server, 34 gold is how much some people are making off a 48 copper thing, right? And that's, that's only the ones that sell are in that database. It's not about what's on the auction house. The minimum buyout is what's on the auction house, but the market value is only what gets sold across the across the time period there. The sun's decided it's going to come back out again. So, I'll turn off my light. So, you can see, if we put this up here for a two gold buyout, right? We've got that up there for a two gold buyout. When someone's doing their scanning searches, if they have all uh, tailoring trade goods, for instance, as one of their searches, that's going to get pinged on their thing. They're going to say, look at this person. It's, a, it's less than 50% of the, the, this server buyout. It's less than, I don't know what, 20% or something? Whatever 100 divided by 6 is. Maths. I'm not good at maths. Anyway, it's, it's, you're going to get 10 gold profit if you buy this and sell it, says the computer program. So... That means that these people, they come in, they do a quick scroll with their thing. It literally takes them seconds. They decide, you know what, let's buy all this because we can make heaps of profit. Who wouldn't want to make 10 gold profit on something, right? So, it's, it's knowing that there are people out there. 
and thinking about players like you. So the tips for this video is to think about the players that are just like you who are out there trying to make money. Think about how you can exploit that, right? And know how auction house trading works. Know this is what this is what people do. There are some people who just spend all day. They come in here, they do the auction house, they make a lot of money. There's an app on your phone. You can even do it from there, you know, on the go. And don't be afraid to go low. Post things as low as possible. And as a result, you will get faster sales, which means that you'll have faster gold turnaround. And even if you're just selling, even if you're just buying red dye and then putting it back up on the auction house, who cares? You're making money off that. The trick, of course, is not to over flood the market, which is what I did with the wildflowers. <laughs> because then uh, you will get a whole bunch of mail back saying you didn't sell your auction. But, so keep that in mind. If you get useful stuff, and this is important because the next video is going to be about farming trade goods, right? And, and how to do that quite easily. And when you're putting those trade goods up to sell, it's important to keep that in mind, right? It's important to consider how it is that you're you're gonna you're gonna sell them as usefully as possible. Yes, you can put linen cloth up for twelve gold. It may sell, but chances are that you'll probably sell it much faster if you only put it up for, you know, one gold, which is way more than you would have got for it from a vendor anyway. So anyway, that's my tip for you for today. That's what we're doing right now. As you can see, we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on in the auction house. I'm going to take Elmini here, and we're going to go and level ourselves up for a bit. And uh, after that, we will do another video about some trade skill farming. I hope you're enjoying them. I hope they're getting better in quality as we go along. Um, I apologize for the crappier ones in the first part of the series. <laughs> And uh, finally, if uh, you want to catch me streaming and stuff, go and follow me on twitch.tv slash Zorak the Troll. Let's put that credits thing up. Uh, twitch slash TV, the twitch.tv slash Zorak the Troll, all one word. And uh, if you follow me there, you'll start to see me. I'm starting to stream more regularly. Uh, Mr. Ginger Fox is looking at doing some streaming as well. Uh, in the near future. So hopefully you're enjoying these videos. I'm really appreciating the feedback that people are giving me. Please give me more feedback. If you've got some feedback, send it my way. Thank you very much. Love you long time. See you in the next video. Ciao for now.